Okay, so today's gonna be another day in the live video of a self-employed carpenter. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've just picked up the apprentice now. It's one of them, the very, very, very extremely rare cases where I woke up late, he was on time. Yeah, very, <laughs> very rare, very <laughs> extremely rare. So we're at the job now, just gonna have some breakfast and then get cracking. Did you mm -hmm. make me any? Yeah, I think so. Mm. What is it? Uh, egg and a toaster. Sorry, I'm putting the pen in your face. You cut, I mean, I measure you cut, okay? Are we cutting? Let's see how this year. We're doing that first? Yeah. All of it first? Uh, yeah. Okay, so on this job, as you may have already noticed, we'll be doing a bit of stud work. The apprentice tow route will also be making up and fitting some door linings. Now, this video isn't a complete guide on how to do stud work or fit door linings. That'll be in a separate video. But nonetheless, in this video, you'll see how I do this stud work and how Tara fits the door linings. Hope you enjoy the video.
So these are the wall plugs I like using. I just get a really, really, really good fixing with these wall plugs, so this is why I like using them. So to give a bit of context, the reason we are creating a stud wall here is to section off the hallway from the toilet area. We are also creating a storage area. Here is where the toilet area will be and here is where the storage area will be. I am building this wall in situ because I don't have the space to make it up on the floor and prop it up. So as you saw, I first measured up, put the bottom plate down put my laser level in place, put the top plate in, now I'm just putting the two side studs in, measuring and marking for my door linings, then I'll put the remaining studs in, then to finish off I'll put my noggins and door linings in. But again, this isn't the full guide so I will be doing another edit showing the process in a fast kind of way. And once it's done, I'll show you the end result. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you how much I charged for this job. Hope you enjoy the video. So I've decided to have a little break, so what I tell is fitting the door frames and cleaning up. While I'm on my break, I thought it would be a great time to announce the sponsor of this video. <clears throat> Actually, we don't even have a sponsor, so if you would like to help us out to continue to make these types of videos consistently, you can do one of three things. If you're feeling generous, you can even do all three. And that is smashing that like button, smashing that subscribe button, and dropping a comment. A bonus fourth one would be to check out the Just Grafting merch that we sell. Thank you for watching this far. Let's get back to the video. So 
so as you can see Tara got some of the noggins in and we're just framing up and doing the rest of the studs this is going to be the last edit segment and then I'll show you what it looks like after and then I'll tell you how much I charged for this job And here is the finished job. So as you can see, we've got the storage area just here. And beside it will be the toilet area. So that's that job done now. It's a simple job, just a bit of studying and two door frames, no, three door frames and just a bit of stud work really so yeah nice simple job now it is getting a bit on in the day so yeah I've got one quote to do and then a few other bits and pieces but yeah it was only that job for today so yeah okay so just dropping off the apprentice now 
It has been a long day today. Finished in good time, but it's still been a long day and it's been a bit of exhausting, but as you can see. Okay, so how much did I make for this job? So for this job, I could have made quite a bit more, but I gave him a deal because he's got a lot of other projects and he wants me to do all the carpentry work. It's like more than 200 meters of skirting, um, 30 frames, doors, architrave, and it's just, he's got quite a lot of stuff he wants me to do. So I gave him a deal and then he's gonna basically give me all the work and I'm doing another job for him in a week's time fitting seven doors fire doors and changing the frames and all of that type of stuff so I gave him a deal so job in total was 440 material was 160 and then I need to pay the apprentice and all of that type of stuff for, so for this job I've made 200 pound but which is decent it's a bit less than I normally make per day but it's just decent but I made that back on all of the bigger projects like um, the fire door fitting I'm um, gonna make a decent amount but yeah that's how much I made on this job so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you again next week thank you looks mad though isn't it Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> the okay. way you so mad, dude. Fire doors, amber. Oh!